If you're afraid of making mistakes, I think I've got some bad news for you. Getting ready for the retail distribution review is highly likely to result in mistakes being made. Certainly that was the case for us. The other day Martin was asking me what I thought our five um, biggest errors were in the period between 2004 and to date in terms of getting ready for RDR. Um, the first one I said to him was pricing. I think we made the classic mistake um, that many make of pricing too low. And it was sending out a subliminal message to our clients that we didn't really value what it was we were doing. Only when we got to the kind of pricing levels that we have today did we start to see clients saying yes um, to our proposition. And our proposition was also part of the problem. Um, originally, when we designed it, to be fair, it was weak. It really wasn't articulating to the consumer the kind of things that we do that are really valuable to them. So that combination of poor pricing, poor proposition, resulted in more people saying no than were saying yes. We also wanted everybody to say yes, which is bizarre if you think about it. We were pretty much suggesting that what we did was suitable for everybody. And only when we learn to properly segment the audience out there and think about the kind of people who would get value from our proposition did we start to get past um, that particular error. I think we were also um, trying to do things too much as individuals. We tell a classic story around the place of how one person would be passing another one on the stairs in the office and they'd each be describing what they were doing and what they had been doing that day and it was abundantly clear that there was so much repetition going on with every individual really trying to do everything within the firm. So we, we were pretty much not working on a team basis and if you've got more than one person in your firm and you're not operating on a team basis that's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. And the other one I guess, the other key error that was, uh, that was a problem for us was inconsistency in the way in which we were uh, carrying out wealth management. So too many people were involved in making the decisions about what particular investment funds um, a particular client might have. We were lucky, we avoided most of the problems that the sectors had around things like structured products, life settlement funds, things of that nature, but we were spreading our uh, proposition far too thinly in terms of the choice of investments that were, uh, that were available to people. So um, a weak proposition, poor pricing, not working on a team basis and saying yes to everybody were just some of the key mistakes that we made in the transition from where we were back in 2004 to where we are today. And every IFA will make those errors. Some of them may not admit to it, but all of us will make the same mistakes. Um, Brilliant with Advice, www.brilliantwithadvice, shares in a lot more detail some of those errors that I've just been describing, but also some of the things that we got right. And we want to share that with you even more by running the workshops that we're running. So hopefully we'll see you there.